Once upon a time, in a secluded part of the grounds of her magnificent castle, a queen was indulging in her daily boosts to her vanity. on his external features, Noel could have ended up being called something like spotty or freckles. Yeah. Oh, except beauty, of course. Now he's just beautiful on the inside and out. These two are blissfully unaware that their peace, love and light is about to be shattered by someone who definitely places importance on the outward appearance. Snow White? Well, in my realm, she has absolutely no place. Snow White must die. Scythus! Scythus, go and fetch the Huntswoman, would you? <laughs> Queen and the Huntswoman discussed the details of the murder of Snow White. They were both tough, gutsy women with powerful jobs, and they didn't shy away from the gruesome details. You shall bring me her heart. Yes, so I know the job is done. Yes, Your Majesty. Hmm, come. I shall ride with you to the East Gate. <laughs>
Meanwhile, Snow White, her seven horses, and her friend Jasmine were all blissfully ignorant that the murder was being planned. So, where's Artie? I've got bad feng shui in the west end of my kitchen and I've been told that I need a, a green painting to go there to change the energies. We absolutely can't be having that. He'll be in his studio. Come on, then. Hi, lovey. Hi, Artie. So good to see you both. Oh, Artie, I love it. It's just gorgeous. I love this bit, the colours and the movement and the energy. That's just lovely. They're really nice, aren't they? He's really into his abstract stuff at the moment. Well, you never know what he's going to come up with next. It's whatever the creative energy is flowing through him. I do wonder, though, sometimes. Anybody. I wonder who that could be. I mean you no harm. I lay my weapons down. Oh yes, of course. Loyal, don't be ridiculous. Give me that dagger. Where did you get it anyway? Who would want to hurt us? Who, indeed? He's hurt his leg. He's hurt! Does it hurt here? How about here? Somebody get me a bandage! Oh, helpful! A bandage! Thank you so much! Should we go help? Here you go. Oh, um, thanks. Could you go and cover Loving's eyes, please? She hates seeing anybody hurt. Yes. Loving, loving, come here. You don't have to look, darling. Come on. You don't want to see these things. That's it. You come and put your face in here. There you go. You look when he's all better. That's it. Now you just stay there. There, that should heal now. Oh, Snow White, thank you so much. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Well, although she didn't tell Snow White the whole truth, one thing she did decide is that she couldn't kill Snow White after all. Not after she'd saved her beloved horse.
Later that day, the Queen received a package. In it was a fresh heart. She returns to her grounds for affirmation. In the stand. Now, who's the fairest in the land? Oh, my queen, you're fair, it's true, but Snow White is still fairer than you. What? Ah! But Snow White is dead! But you, Mira, speak only the truth, so. Oh, that traitorous huntswoman! Well, Snow White must die, so. Send to the cook for some poisoned apples! Oh, would you like a drink? Ah, yes please. Greedy! Greedy, I can hear you're in there. Would you get us a drink, please? like he's bringing them. He's probably doing something he shouldn't be. Helpful, are you in there? Oh, thank you, Helpful. Oh, your mail's in there too, Snow White. Fantastic. Oh, well, do you mind just helping yourself? I'm just gonna have a look through these. Oh, well, that's for loyal. That's lovings. Um, there's one here for greedy. Oh, this one's for me. Beware, poisoned apples. What's that? The queen is trying to kill you. What? And what's this feather all about? Well, it's odd, but... Feathers I've seen like that have been on the Huntswoman. Well, it was very odd, wasn't it? It's really strange. I've never. I wasn't there before. They look quite good, though, don't they? No, wait, wait. I think we're probably overreacting, but should I just go get loyal? Yeah, we best had, just in case. Loyal, I need you to use that incredible no nose of yours and tell me if any of these apples are not okay for us to eat. This one seems okay. Let's have a look. Oh, really? I knew we were overreacting. I'll put that there for you to eat in a minute. Have a look at this one. No, that's not okay. Are you sure? It's really not okay. How about this one? That's not okay either. Wait, I'll be there in a minute! Wait, did you say it's okay? Meanwhile, a prince, the heir of a nearby kingdom, is following his unerring princely instinct to rescue a damsel in distress. What are you doing here? 
for a long laugh, the old man is about to kick the bottle. Really? Yes, you know, I've waited an awful long time for my inheritance. Does this mean you'll be king? And for a moment, the two of them watched one another thoughtfully. Yes, it does. Do you know, Robert, I've always been such a big admirer of yours. And so, the two of them talked and planned their future together. The soon-to-be king, lured in by the riches and power their combined kingdoms would bring, and he wooed the queen with promises of designer dresses and the best plastic surgeons, forever preserving her beauty. Together, they found a certain kind of love. Aha! You didn't see that one coming, did you? There is more than one damsel in distress in this story. However, the prince has rescued one. It was now time to rescue the other, as Snow White lies as if dead. As they talked, the Queen mentioned to the Prince her attempted murder of Snow White. The Prince was a little shocked, but royalty the world over has a bloody history, and he knew the fight to keep your throne. However, he came from a very noble family, and as far as he could make out, this Snow White was not a pretender to the throne at all. You could not kill innocents and keep the love of your people. Oh, no, 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 no. Remember, you are the beautiful Queen, Loved by your countrymen. Mm. You know, the odd behead. Oh, yes, no harm, but to poison her. No. I think we'd better go and rectify the situation. I had to come. After she saved my wonderful hawk, I needed to know if she was alright. Was it an apple? Yes, it was. Thank you for your warning, though. You did your best. Here. What are you doing here? How dare you be here? You did this to her! How dare you speak to me like that? I am your queen! Off with her head! Oof. Calm down, my dear. Remember, you are a noble queen! <sighs> your people all love you. <sighs> I must now go and kiss Snow White. Because as everyone knows, the prince always kisses the damsel in distress. No, 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 you can't do that. No, because then you will fall in love with her and you will marry me and you... Robert, you can't do this to me! Oh! Well, it hasn't worked. <laughs> She's dead! <laughs> Calm down! Oh, uh, there must be something we can do to help her. We need the love of our life here. Now think! But she's really only ever been interested in horses. Well, it's worth a try. Is it going to work? <gasps> oh, 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 You're alive. Oh, brilliant. Well, that's that. We should probably go. We've got a wedding to organise. We'll send you all an invitation and, uh, yes, a Harrods gift list, I think. Come along, Robert! And so, Snow White lived happily for the rest of her days, surrounded by her friends, both two and four legged. No one had ever tried to murder her again. The Queen and the Prince were married, and the others did indeed attend the wedding. In a very short time, the prince succeeded to the throne and became a king. Their kingdoms were joined, making it the richest and most powerful around. They were noble rulers, much loved by their people and kept busy by their eight children. In the grounds of a magnificent castle, a mirror was forgotten. To living happily ever after. Yay! Yay! Yay!